What is up YouTube? This is Jay Frog from Dart Frog Adventures. I'm out here tonight with my cousin Marne and my other cousin, the Wild West Kid. So we're going to be out here doing an adventure. Um, tonight is Friday the 13th. We're out in this area where uh, they used to hold mountain man rendezvous and uh, a little bit of tragedy happened. Uh, somebody got fatally injured right around this time of year a few years ago. So we're going to see what happens. There's been some reports of just strange and unusual noises out here. Last time Marne and I were out here um we 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 didn't hear the boom from our hollow uh hike and everything but when we went home to review the footage that's when we heard the boom when we panned onto the deer skull on the sign so we're gonna see what we find out here tonight let's go i'm not gonna i'm not sure if i'm gonna go over there <laughs> he likes crawling through the bushes and everything <laughs> stick close buddy stick close Yum. Nothing like being out on Friday the 13th doing an urban legend explore video. I thought that was a bone there for a second. That little creek is moving. You hear that? I keep hearing pops over here. It might be. It, it sounded like it was like on the other side of the creek though. Like in the tree line. Yeah. <laughs> A bat. He's up there flying. I don't think my camera caught him, but I can see him with my eyes. Now we're getting close to the road here. Just remember, we have to come back through here, so let's <laughs> not get going too crazy over here. <laughs> Careful, Marnie. Yeah, we shouldn't go too much farther back in here. It's going to get really rough. Yeah. All right, let's turn around. The shadows that the trees cast as I pan my light through them sometimes freaks me out because it looks like there's like a shadow flying past me or something. <laughs> yeah. It's 
Still not as bad as the witch's tree though. That was crazy. Careful there's a rock there. Yeah, that was crazy. We caught that little whatever that was. Fairy probably. <laughs> Going with the theory that it's fairy. Like what else could it be? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it did not look like a bug. No, it wasn't a bug. It wasn't a leaf either. No, that's fair. And there's still a lot that we don't know about everything. Yeah. We think we know everything, but we don't. Pick our oceans, for example. Most of it's unexplored. Exactly. One of my friends had a theory that was a Alt, or like a parallel universe something popped out of there because that's like one of the claims that most of the urban legend has is you know just a weirdness and kind of like a parallel universe area yeah. but uh, I don't uh, I don't know what to think about that honestly oh, you almost tripped Yeah, if you haven't seen the witches video, go check that video out. It's pretty trippy. It was we found some cool stuff that night. Are those shoes? Oh, that's a rock. I thought those were shoes. Yeah, let's go towards the creepy noise. Seems smart. <laughs> from a cancerous tree. Oh yeah, it's a tree. I thought it was maybe like a elk tent or something. Yeah. Part of their antler. Are you down there stacking rocks or Wild West kid? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That was you stacking those rocks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is about the area that I heard that popping coming from. It was weird. It, was, it didn't sound like a branch or a tree breaking, like a toy or anything. It was a popping sound. Huh, interesting. The problem with brush like this, you can stir up animals quickly and something pop out of here. Whether it be harmless or harmful. I think I'm going to work my way back towards the mountain side over there. You want to get back to Marnie? Yeah. Okay. You know something crazy, Marnie? Yeah. It's a flashlight that we were using over at the spooky campground. Yeah. I'm still having problems with that damn flashlight. It's still getting dim on me. Hmm. It's weird. Maybe it was a faulty flashlight. That's possible. But, I mean, there are paranormal reports in this area, too. Yeah. Just because we're not hearing nothing doesn't mean we didn't catch something on the camera. And part of, you know, like a flashlight battery going low or even the camera turning off for a second or something weird. That can be part of paranormal. I mean, we do. There is that creek down there and every time that we've been by these creeks in these canyons, something's happened. We've caught something.
Well, <laughs> yeah. It's always crawling through crazy trails. That's why it's fun. <laughs> This is a careful money. Yeah, the, we're on the mountainside right now, and it's pretty darn steep. It's pretty vertical. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that up there or not, but yeah, we're we're on a 45 degree angle right now, and the Wild West kids over there doing something weird, like normal. Yeah, I mean, we're, look at this. I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Poor Marnie is stuck. Okay, I'm coming over there. Oh, look, the Wild West kid pooped his pants. Okay, so we're gonna have to kind of traverse this without falling on our heads. I can take a path on the flatter portion. Yeah, let's try to just kind of traverse sideways. All right, yeah, we might need to go back down. Let the Wild West kid go over there. I agree. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's just back down. Stay about five feet behind me, so in case we knock down a rock or something. I'll give you a little bit more light. Okay, now we're getting back down to the flat. Ah, uh, sort of. We'll go, we're gonna go catch up with, uh, the Wild West kid here in a second. He's way over there somewhere. Oh, I saw his flashlight right there. He's about 20, 30 yards ahead of us. He's crazy. Go wandering through this brush at night. <laughs> I hope that's his light. I hope so. I hope those aren't eyes. He's probably going to jump out of the trees and try to scare the crap out of us or something. Yo, Wild West Kid! I was getting down in these thickets. These things are crazy. You can stir up any kind of animal nesting down in here. Whether it be a rabbit or... Let's just go with a rabbit. Let's just hope it's... <laughs> or let's hope it's the Wild West Kid. Probably up there by those trees. There he is. Um. Oh, there he is, all right. See the glow of the reflecting of his jacket. Yeah, it's like right up in there. Hey bro, you wanna climb a tree? <laughs> <laughs> there's up in there? Yeah, there's something up in there, dude. We keep hearing it move. There's something in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you crazy. Oh, it's a bird. That's what was moving in the trees. I heard, see, they're just it's flapping right now. It's right over here. That's what was making that noise. As it comes flying out and pecks our eyes. Or some like giant freaking vulture pterodactyl type of thing. Monster that wants to jump out and eat us. <laughs> that little bugger's upset. All right, we're leaving you alone. Must be a nest in there or something. A little birdie nest. Is it dying on you, bud? Not yet. Not yet. All right. Oh, that's cool. Is that a broken telephone pole? Hell of a fence post, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see if I can make it back down this hill without falling my head. Ow. Okay. Oh, it's a picnic table. It scared me. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It's just a picnic table. Oh, look at that. Big tree stump. That's cool. I don't see any rings in it. Usually, well, you can see some of the rings. That tree is old. Nearing petrified state. Yes. Quite solid. We'll have to go camping one of these nights as soon as it starts warming up more. We'll do an overnight challenge. That would be freaking awesome. You know, if you guys are down for us to do an overnight challenge or anything like that, drop it down in the comments. We'll go up one of our most haunted canyons and we'll do an overnight challenge at one of the haunted areas that we know of. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to go back to Camp Lomia. We'll go to a different one, but she doesn't want to do Camp Lomia again. That one just the hell out of me. <laughs> That one was trippy. That was a trippy, yeah. trippy one. Tim foil. Tim foil. Oh <laughs> no, somebody's up to no good out here. <laughs> On one of our last adventures, I found an apple that was turned into a pipe, <laughs> a smoking utensil. That was, well actually, Marnay found it. Yeah. I was like, is that an apple? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go back over here by the hillside, Marnay, and go down a little ways. How about you, bro? And we'll come back to this area and check this area out. Yeah, that looks like a... This used to be a camping spot. Somebody's over there creeping. Get all kinds of strange weirdos out here. Oh, jeez. But we're not included in that mix. No, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, look at all these tracks. All these deer tracks. Campers. <laughs> yeah, look at those. All right. Well, none of these are fresh, though. It's always quick. Whoa. That's an unusual one right there. Oh, is that a paw? 
Hey, is that a bear? Bro? Mm, looks more like a mountain lion. Mountain lion? Or something. Yeah, because there's like the divots and everything right in there. That's weird. It's not fresh though. That's why I always check out these tracks. Oh yeah, look, there's kind of another one right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, look at that big track right there. Oh yeah. Probably elk on that one. So there, this is a lot. There's a lot of tracks in this area. So that means they travel through here, where there's water. There's going to be animals drinking. And where there's animals drinking, there's going to be predators. Yeah, all these tracks are old, though. At least a few weeks. <laughs> oh, snap. Another one of those crazy little design things. <laughs> yeah, we'll go over there here in a second. Found one of these little teepee things over at the witch's tree. A couple of them. There's a couple of them. Yeah, a little lean to. I don't know, it's a little shelter. It wasn't really little. Ooh, look, another one. Little yeah. Prints. Those look more like canine. Um, oh, yeah, I see Here's a weird one. Look at that one. Is that a duck? I'm not sure what that is. That's weird. It has like three. That's weird. What? Dinosaur. What do you think, bro? That one right there? Yeah, that one's weird. I've never goes. seen anything like that. I think it's a baby T-Rex. A <laughs> <laughs> baby T-Rex. Oh, there's another canine print right there. That is strange. I'm going with baby T-Rex. Baby T-Rex? You know, we got to make this adventure more adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Mm -hmm. You go back on the review and everything goes crazy. Oh, it is a bird. Holy cow. That's what I mean, you can scare something out of those shrubs and yeah, it's just, it could be anything. We looked out, it was a, a bird. You could make a bonfire out of it. You could. <laughs> Destroy someone's hard work. <laughs> We're setting a fire. What if that print back there was like from the lizard man or something? <laughs> That's a that tiny would be man. a little tiny lizard man. Ooh. What is this? Wheel barrel. Number. <laughs> Somebody's probably saving it from the camp now. <laughs> See, now it's starting to get interesting, money. <laughs> Definitely. We'll always find can? strange. Like a propane can. What's that back there? Oh wow. Black barrel. It fits like a gallon drum or something. So. Look at that. Somebody's got like a little swing thing here. <laughs> With Dart Frog Adventures, you're always finding something weird in our videos. And this is no exception. Coolant. Is it a coolant? Really cool. Let's go see what's in that 55 gallon drum without opening it and spraying acid in our face or something weird. A little fire ring. Um, <laughs> smile. Forest service. Yeah, forest service stuff. It might be, yeah. It's probably forest service stuff here. That's not forest service, unless they did some arts and crafts in their spare time. So if you're hearing that noise in the background, like screaming and everything, um, that is some reports of what happens up here, but tonight, those are campers. So if there wasn't any campers up here, that would be very compelling to the urban legend up here. A lot of... What they do, just jam all these picnic tables together and are they trying to get rid of them or something? I'm wondering if maybe they're cleaning up the area before they open it up for campers. Oh yeah, because there was a couple signs saying uh, for reservation or restoration, I mean. Restoration, yeah. Restoration. So that might be it. They're just restoring the area. Yeah. Make it look nice for the campers. That's cool. I like when the city does that. Another yeah, another marker where you can park your vehicle. Because these are like parking markers.
Yeah, because they've pretty well just leveled this off here. Yeah. I mean, it's just like they brought a backhoe or a tractor or something in here and just leveled it off. Oh, wow. One way only. Another sign. <laughs> we always yeah. find signs. We do always find signs in our videos. I mean, usually there's something on the sign. Oh, look at this. You can go through it. <laughs> it's like... cool sign. <laughs> so. You can stick your hand through there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the shadow, Marnie. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I think, enjoying that a little too much. I think so. I think <laughs> we're enjoying that a little too much. <laughs> but at least that one doesn't have a banana on it. <laughs> Spooky banana. Spooky banana. Banana, yeah, some campers over campers there. Over there. Yeah, we'll head this way a little bit as soon as we find the Wild West kid. He went that way. Oh yeah, I hear him over there. Okay. Oh, look at this. There's a culvert down there. Oh. Don't stick your face in there. <laughs> no. I'll stick the camera in there. <laughs> What do you guys see in there? Let me know. Hey, caterpillar. Yep. Wow. Hey, right there. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Remember our ghost road adventure? Yeah. Oh man, that one was crazy. That was definitely crazy. It felt like we were getting stalked by something, but it I did. Don't know. It was just the whole like moment we were walking by those thick those thick trees, trees and we couldn't see through and I was like okay now I'm not feeling good something's I'm uneasy <laughs> I, but before like you get out in the open you feel a little better but you can still get ambushed exactly are you trying to see how tall you are buddy stand next to the post <laughs> you should mark your height and then come back next year and see how much taller you are <laughs> got a marker uh, do I? <laughs> Sometimes I carry Mark. The Wild West kid is this tall. This was 2022. We'll see how much it grows next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That's a plane up there. Oh, there goes a bat. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna find when you come out here. Mm -hmm. Like a tiny T-Rex. <laughs> well, it's cow pies. Exactly. Cow pies from a tiny T-Rex. T-Rex pies. T-Rex pies. I like somebody's having something like a spring or something. Oh, cool. Got a little tiny makeshift swing in there. That's cool. Push. Push. <laughs> so we're coming upon this crazy little bridge here. This thing is old. Look at that. That's crazy. I'm gonna get down there and see if I can see what's under this bridge. That, that feels weird to walk across because it moves. If you find a troll, don't scream. Okay, I'll try not to. I found a pop bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool under here. I found a pop bottle wedged in there. See right there? That was weird. Oh, that was me. Oh, oh, did you? Okay. 
Doesn't see any fishing here. There's a troll on top of the bridge. <laughs> you gotta pay the toll. Wonder how old this bridge is. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video for you guys tonight. Um, it's been pretty cool out here. We don't know what we caught, if we caught anything, until we go back and review the video. Uh, but if you like this video, hit like. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. And like always, until the next adventure. <laughs>